yeah, in the string functions, uh, uh, we have contains ends with find is important. See, find is important uh, not only in here, like Power BI also it is important. Left length, Ltrim max, mid function, height, R trim. See, it's almost uh, most of the functions are important here in string functions. Okay. And when it comes to this one, date functions. See, date functions, most of them are important actually. So we will see that uh, one, each one of them. Okay. Yeah, for example, date add is there. Okay. So what is the use of date add is we can add the dates. Like we can, if we want to add a day to the current date, we can add it. If we want to add a month, we can add it. Similarly, if we want to add a quarter, year, like everything we can add it like here. If you can see date add, date part. I mean, which one you wanted to add, whether it is a month, day, quarter, year, or everything. What you wanted to add, we can give it in the date part. And we can give how many, let's say if I give year, how many years you wanted to add. You have to specify that for the date. Did you understand this syntax, guys? Date yeah, it is nothing but what type of date we want to add, whether it is a month, a day, or whatever. See, in this case, they have given month and three they have given. So they want to add three months for this particular date 2004, 14, 15. So then the output will be 2004, seventh month, 15. I hope you it is like easily understandable. Hello? Yeah. Uh, sir, we can add or we can minus the date, right? So we can add actually. Like for example, uh, order date is there. So order date, if I wanted to add or minus, like date, we can take this one, date add. Sorry. I have to give which one I have to add. Like, for example, if I have to add day, D A Y I write, comma, I give the date, order date. Sorry, how many dates I want to add? I have to give like two dates, I will give two days, then I will give the order date. Okay, done. Now I have added. So you are saying minus, minus two can be done okay like i will give date add just i have given apply okay so like now what do i do is i take the order date i take the date add as well okay here i think we have to take it is there in a hierarchy when you take the date it is there in a hierarchy format so if you want to exact date so we can go to exact date and we can do that so here also we have that exact date discrete will give okay but it should be like somewhere exact date yeah I think still not coming. It should be like uh, again, it has gone to continuous. So, yeah, now you can see it can give minus also. Yeah. Did you understand, guys? Yes, between the rows. See, it is like order date is one and it is given minus two days. So two it is 31st, three first. So it can go to go back to previous and also it can go back to the forward. Okay. So here I have given day. If I want month, I can give month also. M-O-N-T-H, that's it. All single letters only here, no capital letter. 
okay so just i can apply it then we get the month see it is like giving 11th month two months back so we can give year also we can try with quarter quarter as well see it's working if you do the apply so it is giving the quarter so same like data add function we have it but we can go back and we can go for forward also but only thing is syntax uh, might be little changed but uh, rest of the things will be same okay it is like we can give the year also okay apply it so we get the year so 2008 it is coming i hope everyone understood what is data add function so the next function will be date difference so i don't want to explain again this date diff function we have same function in power bi also what is a date diff function guys yeah it will give that. yeah hello hello yeah tell me yeah sir it will give the different uh, between two dates yeah so if i have to find out the days difference so between order date comma ship date i can do that so it is like see we have in power bi directly we give first date then we give the interval how it want to calculate but here it is day we can give so it can calculate the difference okay date if apply okay now you can see so if we represent the data also like uh, with ship date ship date so for example if i drag the ship date and give this one to exact date i think it will not take right now like immediately so it should be discrete so now it is there now i will take like date diff so will when i take this one date difference sorry not this one date diff here it will give the difference between two dates understood okay so that is what uh, the date diff function okay then the next function will be date name okay so for example uh, in a date order date i want to extract the month out of it in order date okay so what is the function this is date name right so for example i want to extract month separately how do i do that okay so whatever i want i want to write that particular one month i want from which one from which one is order date so i get that date did you understand guys yes again yes, so here we get the textual month name like january february march like that till december like that we get it but if you use date part we get 0102 like that number this one is month name if i give day it will give sunday monday like that here in the same place if i give day it will give sunday monday february like oh, sorry all this textual information which one name that function name itself saying date name it will give the name but date part will give the number like 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you can see date name they have given as a april it has been coming okay so like that it will be coming did you understand what is this it has been coming day okay let me give month so it is coming january february like if i use one more function called one more function called date part so most of the interviews they will be asking you what is the difference between date name and date part 
you only tell me what is the difference now. Anybody knows or no? See, it is very simple. Don't know. Date part will give the number. Date name will give the name. That's it. Just now I told. Who said don't know? Guys, who said don't know? Hari. Okay, fine. So guys, uh, so Hari, I have already told that actually. What does it will give actually? So I mean. Yeah, yeah. The difference, I don't know, I said. Difference is same thing. I'm saying, right? So date part will give the number. Okay. See, it is for January, it is giving one. So it should not give like two, but somewhere it is getting aggregated. It should be like attribute. See, it is now. So date name will give the name. Date part will give the number. January, February, like that, it will give textual information. Name part means it will be given like one, two, three, nine, like that. Hope you understood Hari right now. Did you understand Hari? Yeah, 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 I understand it now. Okay. Here, if you can see date, name, also we can give different ones. We want year, month, day, quarter, everything we can give it. Okay. Similarly, date, uh, diff, date part also we can give those things. Okay. So that's the thing here. Okay, let me go to another function. Date name is done, date part is done, date trunk, date trunk. Okay, so what is meant by uh, uh, closing balance month, guys? Yes, sir, uh, it will give closing balance uh -huh. month, closing balance quarter or opening balance month or opening balance quarter like that we had some functions right so what does they do yeah yeah it will return the end of the give month. the last month today the sales end of the month day yeah it will give last month month date right like like that opening balance month means what is the what is the opening balance month it uh, will give last month, month of value. previous month Okay, what is start of the month? Uh, first, first date of uh, same month. First date of the same month. Correct. See, same like that, we have a date trunk function. Okay. So what does they will do is, so whatever the date you give, it will give the starting date of that particular interval. For example, if I give quarter here, date trunk of quarter comma date it will give quarter start date but if i give month it will give month start date if i give year it will give year start date did you understand guys yes for example the function name is date trunk t-r-u-n-c-k trunk so date trunk function name so we have a function okay order date Okay, date part. Sorry, I have to give the date part. For example, if I give month in the part, in the part I will give as a month. Okay, all are small letters, guys. Here, always remember this one. So, month, comma, date I will give. For example, I give date. So, now what does it will give? Tell me now you only. When I drag this date here, when I drag this date here, so let me do it like exact date exact date so that it will show the date and uh, yeah and then i have to make it as a here i will make it as a discrete yeah now you can see for all the dates it will be like one 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 only january first only it is there did you remember did you see it see 17 9 2010 so it is giving a nine and zero one only it is truncating to the first date okay is it clear guys hello 
So that is like we can do everything in one function. See, that's the functionality in Tableau actually. So we have for small, small functionalities also, we have so many functions in Power BI, like opening balance month, closing balance month, start of the month, like that around six, seven functions are there. Everything can be done in one function called date trunk. Okay. So you just have to understand that differences. then we have day function so what does day will do it will give the day out of it if i give day of date it will give the date so then it will give the, this one is date is date will check true or false i mean if it is a date it will give us a true else it will give us a false okay is woke water so it will give the returns the iso6 week based quarter for the given date see i have, i never use this particular one but this is like it is also given the quarter, ISO based quarter, it seems. Okay. And ISO based week, day, and this one. Okay. We don't use it much, but mostly we use these functions date add, date diff, date name, date part, date trunk. These are the functions that are important. Then we have minimum, maximum, month. It will give the month number, now function. What is the now function, guys? Today and now function. What is the difference? Mm -hmm. Mm, it's give the date and time now present today sorry no i'm saying today date and I'm time asking, give the now function my question is what is the difference between today and now function what is the difference means you have to say like Both today function gives only, today function will give only date but now function will give date and time that's what i'm saying and quarter so it will give the quarter out of it if you can see this quarter today function will give today's date so week function week number it will give okay year it will give the year out of it these are all about date and time date functions okay anybody has any doubts before we go on to see if you no, had done no, 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 no. enough practice in power bi so these are very easy but these are like little syntax is different but nobody will ask the syntax on all like properly but you have to remember the syntax also guys even i don't remember right now syntax but still i can manage in interview they might ask you the inter syntax also what is the syntax of date name okay just go through that it has clear example with this one function plus example also Correct? Then we have type conversions. Type conversions means the name itself saying in the functions itself. We can change the data type from one data type to another data type. We can change the data type from one data type. For example, when we have a date, so we want to convert that one to text or something. We have a text and we have to convert it to date. So we can do that, all these things. See, so what is the function name? Date function. Returns a date given a number, string or date expression. It will give the date, end of the day. Okay? Is it clear? Say I'm passing I'm date, of, date of text I'm giving. Text means whatever we mention in double quotes, it is a text. Then it is the output is given as a date, normal date. So here also we have this one. It is giving date plus time. Okay. And we have float. Returns a float. Float means, you know, right? Float means decimal numbers, it will be given. There are type. If, even though if you give text or something, it will give a float. Even if you give integer also, it will give us a float. Okay, and float is there. Float or decimal number is there. If you wanted to make as integer, integer numbers means which will not be having a points. It will give the integer numbers. Okay, see make line and make point or like using these coordinates, latitude and longitude, we can give it 
and we can make this particular points okay using this particular one okay then we have string if you have a uh, for example uh, if you have something like uh, yep so if you have something like uh, age is there age you want to keep as a text information text data type so you can convert that using str function we have same str i guess in power bi also right str of something you give it will be converted into text format these are the type conversions anybody has any doubts w how to create a date yeah How to create a date? I have a month and a day and the year is there. But how mm -hmm. to create date? Use the make date. We have a function called There is a function we have it actually. We have a function make date actually. Using that we can do it. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, let me check it. It's been long time. I have used this one. Oh, Srinu, you are working in Tableau. Uh, I'm working, but uh, I could not use this. Working, but not working. I'm working, but uh, just. Uh, Still, uh, still, I work hundred percent. We had dead I think we have something called uh, we have a function called make date in SQL also we have make date is there. I think date only it is. We have a function called date. For example, okay, so we have something called date. So here they are giving month number, day, comma, year. It contains integer, integer, integer. Okay, do mean string. make date we had we have something called make date see we have make date here but i'm not able to see it Achha, we have it. Huh? 
okay when i type it was not coming so now if i give make date of what is that year i will give 2019 0101 close bracket still let us giving unknown function make date call see earlier we had make date function now i looks like it is not there can anyone check it and let me know in the group there must be one function okay just uh, check it okay from your end make date must be there but it is removed i think from tableau but there should be some other function for us Date. Make, make data appear month day is there in Google. Yeah, in Google it is there. Just now, we told, I told, right? This is the one we had earlier, but not now. I tried with that function, it is not working. So you try it with, the, you check it one, you have to check it one more time. See, make data, it is giving errors. Okay, check it, okay. Any other doubts guys in type conversions, anybody has? No, no. Fine, then we'll go for next functions called logical functions. See, logical functions are important. Like we have it in Power BI also, here also we have them important, like logical functions are very important. Okay, so like we have if condition is there. Okay, so if we have to write the condition, whatever the condition we wanted to write, we can write it. For example, um, in the place of East, I have to give East India. Okay, how do I do that? Region, okay, equal to East. Wherever East is there, wherever East is there, then, okay, then give me as which one? East India. So we want to write some conditions if if this condition is true then it will execute this particular portion correct so again we can write one more if we have too many conditions we can go for else if so else okay so we can write sorry else if only else if region equal to west then we can write like West India. Did you understand guys? Like that we can define the condition using if conditions. So we can use if condition lot of places. Else. Region equal to region only. Then end it. End we have to write uh, in this particular one. Yeah, so I want to write wherever East is there, I want to East India, West is there, West India. Remaining things as it is, I want. I don't want to do any changes. So remaining regions, it has to be as it is. Okay, for that case, it has been given like this. Okay, so now I did a conditional column kind of thing. Now, if you want to check it, you take the region, you take the region, and you also take the if condition conditional column which we have given did you understand guys so in this case yeah. if i have used if and here then else if else and all part of that one only in the logical functions if you can see and if i have to write one more condition like region equal to east and product category equal to something so did you understand concept like it is like multiple conditions we can give it here i can write one more condition and if both satisfied then only it gives that is under right r means any one condition can be true r okay did you understand so we use else, else if, 
end and all we have to write in the if condition if we have if null is there if null means if any null is there we want to replace with zero or something else we can do that so what is the other function we have zn function what is the use of zn function guys will replace the zero if null is there it will replace the zero it will replace the zero can you tell me what is the zn function it will replace null values to the zero right but what is the use of if null if null is if null is there we can re want to replace with zero or whatever we want to replace we can replace it okay so that is what if condition just now i told you if of also something see usually if condition is for multiple conditions we use the if iff is there the interview they will ask you what is the difference between if and iff if for c multiple conditions if is is only one condition if property is greater than zero then profit else we have to give something else directly for one condition we can use this particular one did you understand guys yes noven okay then we have is date is date will be like it will check whether it is a true or false okay is null will check Uh, whether it is null or not i mean if it is null it will give us a true else it will give us a false see all is functions are like that only maximum minimum it will find out the maximum value minimum value not means opposite if not expression means if not reason equal to is it is like opposite or similarly then where we use then is like part of if we use it So in the place of if, we use the then, and we have when also. Okay, so we have a switch function, right? In Power BI. Yes, switch function equal to case function. So what is the use of switch function, guys? And what scenarios you have used so far? Switch function. Can anyone tell me? hello 